Hello everyone, welcome to Horario. It's me Abhinand here. You must be happy today because I am here with a new session of 8th standard chemistry. So we have been discussing about the chapter properties of matter so far. Well I remember in the previous class we have learned about the arrangement of particles in solid, liquid and gas and different states of matter. So you must have a clear understanding about those concepts. With this understanding we are going to learn Today we are going to learn about the changes happening to the arrangement of particles during their transformation. Okay, so we are focusing on the attraction of particles, distance between particles, freedom of movement of particles and energy of the particles which means we are going to analyze whether the attraction of particles increases or decreases, whether the distance between particles widened or shortened and about the freedom of movement and energy whether it is increased or decreased. So first of all we are going to analyze liquefaction that means when solid changes to liquid with the absorption of heat energy that is very important liquefaction takes place with the absorption of heat energy. So have a look. This is how particles, solid particles are arranged within the substances. As you know, they are tightly packed because they have strong attraction between the particles. When they start to absorb heat energy, this heat energy is used to overcome the attraction between the particles. As a result, the attraction between particles decreases and they move away from each other. So, there is a small distance between the particles develops okay hence uh, due to this distance there is some dist uh, space between the particles created so the particles can make number of movements to any directions okay so so the freedom of movement is increased as they start to move they start to develop kinetic energy also kinetic energy is a form of energy occurred by these particles by virtue of their motion okay so we have seen that uh, during liquefaction that is when solid changes to liquid with the absorption of heat energy, attraction of particles weakened, distance between particles widened and the freedom of movement and kinetic energy increases. Okay, that is it. So next is about evaporation that is when liquids changes to gas with the absorption of heat energy. Have a look this is, this is how particles are arranged inside liquids. So, as the particles start to absorb heat energy, the attraction between particles weakened and the distance between particles increased. So, they create some space, extra space, so they can make greater number of movements and that too in faster movements. So, the kinetic energy will also increases. So, in the case of evaporation, the attraction between particles further weakened. The distance between particles widened and the freedom of movement and kinetic energy increases. Hope this is clear to you. So, okay, next we are moving on to condensation that is when gas changes to liquid but here the heat energy is released. As the uh, particles start to release heat energy, the attraction between particles increases. Okay. Uh, as a result, they come close together. The uh, space between the particles decreases. So, the freedom of movement is also restricted or decreased. Uh, when they uh, decreases their uh, movements, the kinetic energy will also decreases. That is attraction of particles uh, increased. The distance between particles shortened and the freedom of movement and kinetic energy decreases. Okay, hope this is clear to you. Next we are moving on to 
sublimation you know sublimation is the process of solids changes to gas without becoming liquids with the absorption of heat energy here for the state change they need little amount of heat energy they, they become gases fastly and spontaneously so as the particles start to absorb heat energy the attraction between particles weakened hence the distance between particles widened now there is enough space for movements so the uh, number of movements increases they have freedom of movement greater freedom of movements subsequently the kinetic energy will also increased okay so we have seen the changes happening to solids liquids and gas during their transformation we have seen whether the attraction of particles increased or decreased and the distance between particles whether they decreased or increased and about the freedom of movement and kinetic energy so we have seen a number of properties of substances is there any other properties of substances who oh, wait i am getting some kind of foul smell what is that smell where it comes from oh my god i think it's the smell of cooking gas there is some leakage i will be back let me turn it off thank god i turned it off and i am able to prevent a danger uh, i think you must have this kind of experience do you think if the smell is didn't reach us here what would have happened how could i turn it off so the smell reaches here so that i can turn it off okay so why this happened how the smell reaches here the, the cylinder is at the kitchen and i am here 50 meter away from the kitchen and how the smell reaches here i will explain this is related to the freedom of movement of particles inside solid liquid and gas you know in in gas gaseous substances the freedom of movement is maximum they they can make movements in any direction if the uh, container is open the particles can even move out to the container and they can mix with the air and they travel along with the air uh, that's how they spread in air while in the case of liquids the freedom of movement is less comparing to uh, gases the freedom of movement is less but there is some considerable amount of uh, movements in liquids uh, if you think about mixing a red ink in water uh, we can mix the uh, red ink by by uh, stirring it okay uh, so but they cannot mix with the air because there is some attraction between the particles if you want to smell the liquid you need to bring it bring near to your nose next is about Uh, solids in the case of solids the freedom of movement of particles is minimum because there is greater attraction between the particles the particles attract each other and they come close to the together they can they cannot make movements outside the container or outside the particles they can mix with the air so if you want to smell a solid substance you need to bring it close to your nose for example if you try to mix uh, red ink with a Uh, some kind of wood substances it will not mix because in part in the solid particles the freedom of movement is minimum or there is no freedom of movement and this mixing is called diffusion Mi diffusion is the spontaneous mixing of different particles having freedom of movement the rate of diffusion is different in solids liquids and gases uh, the in the rate of diffusion is the maximum in gases because there is maximum freedom of movement and the freedom of movement in liquids is less than gases because the freedom of movement is less comparing to gaseous substance while in the case of solids the rate of diffusion is minimum because there is little or no movement of particles the rate of diffusion in solids liquids and gas can be altered either by applying pressure or temperature so i have an ex experiments for you Uh, i have some iron crystals in my hand and it is taken in a watch glass as you know iron is a substance which shows sublimation which means they turn into gases uh, while absorbing heat energy so i am going to heat these iron crystals and they turn into iron vapors 
this iodine vapors are violet in color i collect this iodine vapors in a glass jar so we we are placed an empty glass jar over the uh, glass jar with iodine vapors so okay, we can see that the empty glass jar is also turned into violet color violet color what it tells it means the iodine vapors reaches to the glass jar glass jar placed above which means the uh, diffusion is taken place uh, the iodine vapors moved above and mix with the air particles which is initially present in the empty glass jar so it means the rate of diffusion in iodine crystals can be altered by applying temperature diffusion is a most commonly seen process in our daily life this is the scientific phenomenon behind the smell of incense stick smell of leakage of cooking gas and the smell of camphor so in today's class we have learned about the changes happening to the arrangement of particles during transformation of their state and we have learned about diffusion do you remember what is diffusion diffusion is the spontaneous mixing of particles having freedom of movement then we have learned about the rate of diffusion in solids liquids and gas how they can be altered so this is about all about today's class we have more in coming classes thank you for your time if you have any doubts please put it in your comment box and subscribe our channel horario and give your valuable suggestions and comments thank you